Richard Lewald, Bioenergy Wellness Care. I'm gonna ask my audience this question. How has your life been? Probably pretty disruptive, pretty concerning. And really at the crux of the matter, we need to examine how have we been living, you know, our lives? Have we been living it in a good way, right? Nature teaches us many things, okay? Um, as a model, for example, we just look at, we always reflect to nature. We're really connected with nature. We are nature. Okay, so as we observe nature and its operation, we learn certain things. So here's a fact. When the sun rises, it rises in the east. And as it rises, it becomes an orangey yellow color. And when it sets in the west, it becomes red. At the middle of the day, sort of thing, it's, it's white. It's bright and it's white. And as it moves away from that, it becomes yellow again. So we have nights, our nights are always dark. Guess what? So when we look at the people, we have people in these four different colors, okay? Everything in creation is connected. And this is what we need to recognize for ourselves. We are connected. We are connected with each other from a DNA perspective and so on. Um, <clears throat> All of nature is connected, okay? And we are connected to it again. So trees are connected. They share their root structure with each other and that's how they can communicate, how they, they share. Um, <clears throat> so we need to be well-rooted as well in this concept of sharing, uh, way we live, um, that we're not our own, we're not self, okay? Which so much comes up now, you know, self, me, I, and so on, and we become selfish. And all of a sudden, because I think that's the way we've been kind of living, many things are being disrupted because it's just not really a natural way to go. So we are uh, nature and are connected to, to each other, yet to become very dysfunctional in that capacity. We bomb, we kill, we've done this historically uh, because of what, you know, we want things for ourselves. We want to dominate everybody, dominate nature. Um, and we strive after all these things, you know, for our glories. Uh, so. so what are being pursuing? Power, money, possessions, acquisitions, etc., etc. So um, it's time that we do need to change. And I think this is where we have a lot of this disruptive behavior now because it really comes down it's an economy for all of us we're in all of this together and we got to make it work um, so it's a way of thinking that has to change um, so we the way we've been grown uh, raised and grow up to do the things we're doing the way we've been programmed and so on now let's go deeper because We've been able to travel and go different places and uh, all of a sudden now <laughs> it stops. So this is the perfect moment for everyone to travel deep. Go deep. Go deep in yourself. And you know, if you dive deep into the oceans, the pressure builds up. And so there's certain levels you cannot just go beyond until you maybe go into some kind of a device diving equipment and submarines and whatever else to take you to the depth because there's a lot of pressure and maybe if you did that you feel the pressure and the pressure is, will make you uncomfortable but allow this in a way to look at yourself and to look from those points as to hey what's been going on in my life and Maybe you can realign more with a reality of things, of how things need to be, where it is truly about equality. And everyone matters. It's just not a certain group, a certain color. Everyone matters, right? As we have that illustration, we see the changes in the sun as it rises and as it sets in a 24 cycle. We have the different colors. So here we are. Okay, this is nature, creation, showing us how life is. Let's get realigned with that. Let's take the lessons from that, okay? So, time to look, to get in touch with our lives and that of others too. So we live in a lot of fear, there's a lot of anger, uh, we talk about love, there's a lot of hurt. 
and all of a sudden we have this explosion of emotion. This is also energy. Um, so we need to consider, you know, uh, what love really is. Okay, lots of songs, lots of poems, lots of many things talking about these aspects. But time, it's really time to learn, to get down to brass tacks and to live in that uh, capacity. So we do have a lot to learn and we have to stop thinking, living like we're still teenagers. We need to grow up. Um, perhaps we failed in our responsibilities um, as we have focused on what? Everybody's being focused, particularly now, on our rights. Yet, what is happening? That we focus on our rights, and it's like from a selfish thing, we've forgotten about the rights of the other people, okay, in other parts of the world. Like I said, we bomb them and kill them and steal from them and all that. And we're really out of harmony, okay? And it's like the whole thing is, you know, it's got to be good music, uh, like an orchestra, for everyone. So we need to live in a different mindset because that's where it all begins. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, everything is based on energy and um, our systems are so much based on consumerism, okay? Um, and money is the control of consumerism. We give ourselves all out to acquire the latest, greatest, the best, supposedly, yet disposable, and we get rid of it and we pollute and everything else. And money is the currency, okay? It's the way that everything flows, it's energy. And we've given ourselves, indebted ourselves, enslaved ourselves to the system of money. Um, so, you know, but it's interesting as we see. So, to me, I look at it this way. When we do a transaction money-wise, the US dollar has been since 1970s uh, the dominant world currency by which everything is controlled and it seems to be waning. But look at the system, right, that we're in. It's, it created a lot of inequality. You've got one currency by which everything is transacted. And um, so if you were doing any kind of conversion on your money for another currency, every time they do it, they take a percentage. So you bring it back, so let's say you're changing now from Canadian to US dollars or even any other currency, it goes through the US dollar. Now you've got money left over, you want to convert it back into your Canadian dollars, they take more. So you can't win, you keep on losing a little, a little, a little at a time, okay? So this is how the system is, it's who controls the system, takes it from all of us. But here's where we're going. And I think it's a smart way of allowing us at least to think peer-to-peer. Uh, -peer. In the past, the primitive people, how did they operate, right? They would be exchanging shells, feathers, salt, and it was all peer-to-peer. -peer. Well, we have a peer-to-peer -peer system nowadays that has been in development and running, and it seems to be taken off in a good way. There's a big boom in it happening with things like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on. And uh, you see it more and more in the news, and more people start to pay attention. So there is uh, a model in the making. Will this be the end-all, be-all? Will this be what is totally going to replace things? I don't know. There's a possibility, though. The mindset behind it is good. Okay, as we've done it in the primitive days before, we would uh, maybe just barter exchange, but like I said, we've used different forms of um, currencies, and it's just an exchange mechanism. Um, so we need to address the real crux of the matter, right? Um, you know, it's our hearts. It's the heart that formed our body. That's the first brain. Okay, we got a heart brain, a gut brain, we got the brain brain here, and the brain brain here rationalizes. The brain brain here takes over all other brains, and it basically runs through the program. But we need to go back to the heart. We've got to be heart-based, so again, that we can be um, sharing with each other, and nobody should uh, dominate anyone, okay? Nobody's better than anyone else, we're all equal. But what's the problem? The problem is with the hearts, okay? The hearts have become like stone. They become like ice, frozen cold. And uh, we have no uh, regards for the planet, other people. And so we do all these evil acts on others. So, <clears throat> mom, 
what do we know about ice? Um, if I took ice and I put it in my hand, the ice will melt. So it's easier for us to melt ice than it is to melt the heart, which is behind all these things. So my share with you, take the opportunity that we have now. Seek deeper things, go deep. And yes, you might become uncomfortable in it. And perhaps we can be all together in this, the more of us that do this, um, we might create a better outcome. We're all energy. Your thinking is energy. Your words are energy. Your actions is energy. Create good energy. Create loving energy and share that with others. Anyways, I just want to speak from the heart. Hopefully, this message might be something to you. Um, and I just thank you for watching and being with us once again. Watch this video, share this video. Perhaps if you feel there's something in there for others to watch. Um, and we have many other videos where I'm trying to just share things, perhaps quite different, but it's all based on everything being energy. So thank you, enjoy it, share comment, questions. We're all welcome in that. See you next time.